Hey guys, so I'm back for another pregnancy update. I'm feeling a little under the weather, so excuse my voice if you can hear that in there. Um, I'm obviously in a new setup. If you don't follow my beauty channel, I am in my bedroom now. This is in my bed. <laughs> I will do a room tour on my beauty channel soon. I have moved my makeup room stuff in here so that we can make room for Emily's new bedroom and then of course the nursery here in the next couple of months. But I just wanted to do a quick pregnancy update. Not too much has changed with me and my body as far as like from my last pregnancy update which was about three weeks ago i am currently 21 weeks five days we have a couple of new exciting things of course if you watch my beauty channel and you follow me on my beauty channel then you already saw my announcement video about the gender and the name reveal so we're having a baby girl so 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 thrilled i thought for sure it was going to be a baby boy but nope we're having a little girl and i could not be more excited more pink for me i'm so so thrilled so yes we're having a baby girl and we found out that on June 3rd I was a little I was a right after 21 weeks like a few days ago and um yeah what else oh name reveal <laughs> her name is going to be Madeline Grace Mendoza we're so excited of course we're gonna name I call her Maddie for short for a nickname so I'll post I'll put it here and again if you watch that announcement video you've already seen all this so I won't go into detail I'll post the announcement video up here if you want to hear more about how we found out and stuff like that um, definitely go check out that video so this is just gonna be an update on how I've been feeling like I said it's been about three weeks since my last video um, as far as let's see symptoms I really haven't had huge amount of symptoms I feel like my shortness of breath is definitely getting easier which is kind of funny because normally it's supposed to get a little worse as your uterus gets bigger and then when your baby drops it gets a little bit better but honestly it's been feeling I've been feeling great and I think really the main thing that that has to do with is the fact that I have been walking and I have been trying my hardest to walk 30 minutes every day it hasn't happened every day but I have tried really really hard because I want to stay not fit because let's face it I'm not gonna be a fit person um, especially pregnant I'm not trying to stay fit I'm trying to stay semi healthy so that I have maybe an easier delivery and I don't gain a ton of weight um, <clears throat> because of my size I just really want to make sure I have a healthy baby a healthy baby Madeline so um, yeah I think that was pretty much my only symptom I of course am peeing like a crazy person but I think every pregnant woman has that I actually have had some uh, nipple tenderness that may be TMI for some of you guys but I was expecting it early on in the pregnancy and I never got it until recently so um, yeah, so that's a little weird. I haven't noticed much darkening or like getting the, the line on my belly. It's called a, a linea negra. I haven't got that really dark at all. Um, I haven't really noticed it at all, really. Um, that's about it as far as body changes. I did start to feel fluttering. I actually started to feel it now that I know what it feels like. I actually started to feel it around 18 weeks. Um, but honestly, I just thought it was gas. I really, like 16 to 18 weeks, I just thought it was gas. I didn't think it was anything to do with the baby because it felt like it was too high up in my d digestive system for it to be the baby. Um, but now that I know what it feels like, it definitely was her. She was fluttering in my tummy and it is the most amazing feeling ever. In fact, around 19 weeks, Andres and I and Emmy um, were laying on the bed and we were listening to my tummy with the stethoscope just to see if we could hear like, slushing around of the amniotic fluid or, fluid or anything like that and when I was laying down that's the first time I felt a kick and it literally felt how if you could imagine a little tiny 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 foot kicking you inside your stomach would feel like I, I just was shocked I almost started crying I was like oh my god I think I just felt a kick and sure enough that's what it was so that was really that was really exciting and ever since then I'm almost 22 weeks and you know for like the last month or so I have really been feeling kicks not continuously all day long which the doctor said that was perfectly fine I wouldn't um, but I have felt them here and there so that's been really really exciting I can't wait to feel full full-blown kicks all day where she's jabbing me in my ribs and I just can't wait to feel all that because I have been enjoying every bit of this pregnancy that I can. I haven't had any cravings, no crazy cravings. I have been waiting to eat like, I don't know, popcorn and ice cream or like salt in my 
<laughs> I don't even know, salt in my waffles or something. Like I have just been waiting to have a crazy craving and I just haven't had it. In fact, my Rice Krispie craving has even started to subside, which I'm very happy about because they're very high in sugar and I worry about like gestational diabetes, especially with my size. So I'm glad that that's starting to kind of go away, um, but I really haven't picked up any other cravings. Like, is that normal? What the heck's wrong with me? I am <laughs> just like, Hello, <laughs> I'm pregnant. I should be craving the weirdest things on earth. But that hasn't happened, so that's not a big deal. Um, I did want to get to questions that you guys have been asking me in these last couple of videos. Mainly, it has been about my journey to get pregnant. And I promise, probably the next video that I have up will be my entire journey getting pregnant. Because as I've mentioned before, we had struggles. I struggled. Um as a woman in the relationship it was very difficult so I will go into detail with that later on in another video um, I also of course the gender and stuff like that so now you guys know all that information if I come across any other questions I will start to write them down so that I can answer more of them in these videos because I know you guys are super curious and I really really appreciate that so as far as weight gain goes I had the doctor's appointment June 3rd prior to that the doctor's appointment was April 29th and I had already told you guys in this last pregnancy vlog that 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 day I had only I had lost two pounds or I gained two pounds back I don't really remember it regardless when I went in June 3rd I only gained a half a pound and it had been five weeks since my previous visit so I'm more than halfway through my pregnancy right now I'm hoping that this weight gain is of course she doctor told me it was normal I shouldn't worry about it I am on the heavier side I have no problems if I don't gain any weight at all she just does not want me to gain more than 15 pounds so I am still down a pound and a half from where I originally started. Um, so technically I haven't gained any and I've lost a pound and a half. So we'll see how that goes. I really think that gaining only a half a pound really was accredited to me walking almost every day for like the last two weeks of like before this uh, appointment on June 3rd. And that's, I, I mean, again, because I've kind of been eating what I want within reason. I'm not choosing has super super healthy but I'm not going super super overboard or anything like that um, so we'll see how this next appointment goes I'm gonna try and stay on the right track and hopefully you know it works out in my favor and I already mentioned about the doctor's appointments you know they've been going good the doctor said that I am right on size timeline <laughs> like she measured my um, uterus size from umbilicus to my pubic bone and it was right over my umbilicus which means I'm about 21 weeks so that was good to know because um, my due date hasn't changed or anything like that still according to my last period I'm supposed to be delivering August August October October 6th but according to doctor it's supposed to be October 13th so we will see when Madeline decides to poke her little head out <laughs> and join us in this wonderful world um, other than that that's about it I do have some maternity buys um, but I actually I and I'm gonna show you my belly and stand up here in a second one this shirt is one of them and um, I like I said I bought a bunch of shirts and stuff from Target so I am gonna share that with you guys but on my um, beauty channel. I'm just going to do a whole beauty haul and then include the maternity stuff to go along with it. Um, but I will back up and show you guys my belly. So here is my belly. I feel like it is getting huge. I um, am not wearing maternity pants. I'm just wearing these like regular gym pants with a longer shirt over it. So it kind of cuts like into me here. U usually the maternity pants rounds out my stomach a little bit more. Um, but that's my stomach. It is still, it's still getting very firm. I um, can definitely feel my uterus in there. And yeah, that is it. So anyway, that was the end of this pregnancy vlog. My camera is about to shut off. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave comments and everything down below. I'm not responding to comments on my pregnancy vlogs, but I am reading every single one of them so I can either answer your questions or get good feedback or anything like that. So don't forget to leave them in the comments down below and I will see you in my next one. Bye.